What's up, guys? Welcome back to Third Person. This is the Third Person Podcast. My name is Chris, and with me, as always, are my buddies, Mike and Jesse. What's How's up? it going? Guys, today we're going to be talking about the new Netflix series, Lemony Snicket, A Series of Unfortunate Events. This obviously was a series of books. I believe there's 13 of them. And yep. uh, uh, when did they run, Jesse? From uh, 99 to 2006, if I recall correctly. Right. So uh, this was also a movie back in the early 2000s with... Um, Jim Carrey, Jim Carrey. Dog, Emily Browning, and two other people. <laughs> uh, uh, Peter Pettigrew from Harry Potter played Mr. He was Mr. in Poe. there. Uh, Walken? I think Walken was in it, wasn't he? Not Walken. Um, Somebody. Somebody else was in it. I'm trying to remember. Th- there was a lot of people in it. Uh, there's Meryl Streep was in it. Yeah, then... she was in it. Anyway, it was it was a, a star-studded cast. Um, it was okay, the movie. You know, I enjoyed. I I think I enjoyed uh, Carrie's performance. Um, but this time around, we've got uh, Neil Patrick Harris. Good old MPH is in there uh, as Lemony Snicket and um, as Count Olaf, not Lemony Snicket. I'm now. sorry. Well, yeah, sorry. <laughs> I get it confused. Lemony Snicket is actually the uh, <laughs> Patrick Warburton. Patrick Warburton plays Lemony Snicket. Lemony Snicket is the investigator, I guess, policeman that narrates and talks about what happens to these wow. Baudelaire children and all of the things that they go through. And it's a, so the, the whole series is just, it's, it's just a fun, very stylistic, stylized, uh, comedy slash, I think it's mostly a comedy. Um, but it's very stylized and, and it's, it's just, it's interesting because I know, you know, Mike coming into this, you were like, the first thing you said to us was like, this, this is kind of weird. Right, oh, it's totally fucking weird. <laughs> but it's, but it's. It was, yeah. It, I mean, it was good, but I hate seeing these poor kids in such a vulnerable state. You know, that it was kind of driving me nuts. I mean, in the end, obviously, we kind of get a little redemption from. You know, I mean, I didn't watch the whole. This is a Netflix series. Obviously, there's what eight episodes on the series. Eight episodes on season and, one. Yeah. Um, Two parts makes a whole like book. Yeah, so I only watched the, this these first two, so I don't know the future of this season. But I was a little, um, you know, I was a little uh, excited towards the end when obviously they got out of. I felt so bad for this poor girl having to to marry Olaf, and I was glad that that <laughs> kind of thing happened. Uh, you know, didn't happen. So that that um, you know, I'm kind of intrigued. You know. But it yeah. definitely was weird. It was very um, Tim Burton esque. Very Burton esque, yep. Which is hilarious because he directed yeah. the 2000 movie. Right. Yeah. It, it was. It just was weird. You yeah, know what? Good. It's um. Like good, weird. What we're gonna do, guys, is we're gonna break the series down. Season one has eight episodes, and they're broken into part one and part two of a specific thing, which essentially works out to be the book. So the bad beginning, part one and two of the first two episodes, then the reptile room, so on and so forth. Those are like essentially the books, yeah. I, I guess. Um, so that's how they're broken down. So what we're going to do, uh, we're going to probably for this first season, pump out like at least four videos discussing each of these part ones and part two. So this time around, we're going to talk about, uh, the bad beginning part one and two. So as a quick synopsis, what goes on in here after three young, the three young Baudelaire siblings are left orphaned by a fire in their mansion. They are carted off to live with their distant relative, Count Olaf, Olaf. Unfortunately, Olaf is cruel. He's a cruel scheming man that is only after their inheritance. Uh, that the eldest Baudelaire, Violet, is set to receive. Uh, the children escape and then find shelter with their uh, quirky uncle, Monty, and subsequently their, their uh, phobic aunt, Josephine, but Olaf is never far behind. Um, that was part one, and then part two is uh, the Baudelaire's try this uh, daring escape to get out of his clutches, um, in which case they do um, at the end of the thing. So um, we're not going to go you know, too far I- into that. We're just basically just going to, talk about about the i mean i mean the characters um like, let's talk about mph for a second and him as as count olaf yeah. um <laughs> i think i think he did a good job the makeup the makeup works well um i actually thought he was hilarious he was actually very hilarious i enjoyed it, it. Is, i didn't think quirky. it was over the t- yeah. very quirky right but <laughs> i didn't think it was over the top i i, I don't i didn't feel <laughs> i mean i don't know about you guys but i, yeah. I didn't feel that he was like you know, he was like he was like a perfect, you know, yeah, very perfect mixed crazy. Yeah, like a cartoony villain. It, like, exactly. Yeah, it's it, it's very um, like I was telling you guys earlier. I thought that 
it, 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 I mean, I think the, the perfect word for this, the adjective uh, to describe it, it's just, it's just weird. You know, um, <laughs> I, I did like how Neil Patrick Harris, uh, how the character would have these. There was like, um, I forgot exactly what was said, but um, he would always, he would say something. And um, they would say, well, they would correct him. He said, that's what I said. You know, oh, or, and he would, yeah. yeah there, would, was a, there was a yeah. lot of fun words. A lot of play. like little fun things in there. Yeah, I, yeah. Like, I like that. It's very I like... retro. Um, it seems very, I told you guys, it seems very like 50s style with the intercom that Mr. Poe was using to contact the secretary and yeah. the cars and, and, um, just the how the homes, you know, yep, the clothing. But obviously, yeah. it was like a modern day. Yeah, like wherever this they, is, it's um, right. It's it's fun though. It's it's definitely a fun. <laughs> I don't know, like a fun. It's like a fun thing. Um, NPH, I think, yeah, the the dialogue that you know he spits out is hilarious. I, I love the introduction of his cronies, of his acting troupe. Oh, um, little yeah. candid man. Yeah, you know, I mean, I don't know all their names or anything yet. I, you know, I'm sure Jesse, you, you know, Jesse's read all the books. I'm sure you could. Oh, I, I've read them multiple times. Um, I just, I really enjoyed those guys. Um, uh, Jesse, what do you got? You got you, you wanna, you wanna give us a little, uh, keep uh, send us here a little bit. What do you, what do you got? All right. So first off, I had to look it up. It was Brad Serbling uh, that did the movie in 2004. Um, but other than that. Let's talk about Patrick Warburton and his take on Lemmy Snicket, actually. Um, okay, yeah. What'd you guys think of that? Because I have some stuff on there that was actually pretty awesome. Um, I love Patrick Warburton. I loved him, um, uh, first and foremost, from Family Guy. He plays uh, Joe, the cop in Family Joe Guy. Joe Swanson. Joe Swanson. <laughs> Fucking am- I love that. Obviously, the guy's got an amazing voice. Um, yeah. And he's got a body to match the voice, which is crazy because he's just he's a, a large person, you know? Okay. Um. He was in that show with David Spade too. Uh, um, Rules of Engagement. Rules of Engagement. I enjoyed him in that. I like his humor. I like him a lot. I think he was perfect to narrate this thing. So I enjoyed it. I, I don't know. Yeah. I think it was I don't good. No, I, I mean I feel the same way. It's 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 kind of cool how they introduced you know another scene by him speaking, or he just kind of like he's in the background, on, but, but he's and then he yeah. and it goes to the action and it comes back to him and he's yeah. reacting to it. It's cool. I enjoyed yeah. it. I really did. I mean, the, the kids were good actors, obviously. Let's talk about, like, their skill sets that they have, you know, um, between... Uh, well, it's Violet. It's Violet, who's the oldest. The, the, she's the, girl, the inventor. Obviously. Yeah, she's the inventor. She, We see her, you know, concoct uh, a bit of a grappling hook kind of, uh, yep. um, in, you know, um, invention. Um, and then you have Klaus, Correct. Correct. And the he is the book book. He's a researcher. That, yeah. Yeah, and he, you know, that comes to good use in this, especially at the end. And then um, Sunny, which is the infant, who um, she's the, dis, despite they... the coups and and little, uh, you know, no full words and full sentences, everybody seems to understand exactly what she's saying, and it's yeah. not just like cat or dog kind of things that she's saying that they understand, which was, which was cool. Um, they were, they're both, you know, they, they're good actors, you know, um, and it was, uh, you know, like I said in the beginning, it just killed me in what they were putting these kids <laughs> through, yeah. and I guess I might, um, you know, I might be a little upset going further watching this if this is all these poor kids uh, deal with is, is heartbreaking. You're, you're trying to give me to give you a hint every time, and I'm not No, but it. it just, you know, but I think the big thing that really kept... Um, that that makes me want to see more of this show is I want to know what's going on with the parents and why um, or who caused this fire or um, why Mr. Poe, who is the banker, um, who has the, um, what would you say? I mean, he's the one that put, he's kept in charge of these kids to, to. Um, he's the executive. He's the executor yeah. of their will. Uh, he's yeah. their, he was their financial person, which is again, it's like an off, that's like left of center type of person to like yeah. be the executor, and he's he's again very dry, and he's got the coughing mm-hmm. all the time. Again, the characters are very, a step like they're, and don't forget, I mean, obviously, I assume they shot these mostly in order. So in the beginning, yeah. you're gonna have they're not really set in their characters. I I bet you by the end of the, and now you've seen them all, Jesse. So. Yes, I have. 
you know, you probably speak better to this. I'm Mike and I are kind of watching them in, in like a, in a progressive progression um, yeah. instead of binging. And it's like, I imagine that towards the end of the season one, like they're really into their characters. Like they're really, I just, so... I just, you know, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> To put it this way, they're playing the characters by the book. Good. Okay. And literally, how they act in this uh, couple episodes is exactly how they're supposed to act based on the books. Yeah. And they do so based on what's happening in each consecutive book slash set of episodes. Yeah. So Mr. Poe saying, I'm the... And then Olaf bumps in doing whatever i forget what the theater name was uh you're the executioner of their account i'm the executor of their account that's what i said that's what i said yeah 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 Yeah. that is more or less how they're supposed to act it's like straight word from word from the book that's great jessica haircut yeah jessica haircut (laughs) jessica haircut that was a great scene i was was. what i'm saying some of this stuff is just and yes of course it's it's mostly Neil Patrick Harris is your vehicle at this point, you know, but that's what this is. It's Olaf. That's the whole thing. That's yeah. what makes it funny. And I just, I enjoyed watching it. I did. I watched it with my kids and my wife yeah. and, and we all it enjoyed was... it. You know, it's, it's, it's a funny, yeah. even, you know, and they thought it was kind of weird too, but they're into it. They're kind of digging it, you know, yeah, it was, it, you know, what, you know, what, it had that, even that, like, you know how Willy Wonka was weird. Yeah. Well, you mean the Johnny Depp enjoyed one? It. Well, that too. Oh, the but original it, it, one? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I love. Yeah, that they're both. It's just a I weird. It, it gives you. It, it's a, it has a weird vibe to. I love to, it though, it. man. I'm so into I, that stuff. I love. I like. I, love it. The, I mean, I like it. It's quirky I mean, not, and it's like yeah. just. It is what it is. You just accept it for what it is. And once you're brought into the world, because it's not like watching, yeah. you know, anything else on TV or anything. It's like it's no, got its, it's own thing. You know, it doesn't look like yeah. everything else. It doesn't sound like everything else. Well, I'm just wondering why, too. Why do every? Why does everyone assume that the parents are dead? Well, because it was a fire, and they and they think right. that they were in there. You know, I so. guess, but wouldn't I mean? Well, that's but I that's guess. the beauty of it. But that's the yeah. beauty of it. That's just the the no, obviously that's not the, the uh, case there. Naiveness, the na- naivete of these characters, you know. Um, yeah. Jess, I don't know where what you have next, but can I just can we just talk about the judge? Uh, Justice Strauss. Justice Strauss. Love uh, Joan Cusack. Joan Cusack, yeah. Love, yeah. I absolutely love Joan Cusack. She was she's funny in fantastic um, School in, of Rock. Remember School she's fantastic Rock. in everything <laughs> that she does. I, I just yeah. love seeing her. She was in Shameless. She was in um, Gross Point Blank, one of my favorite um, uh, movies uh, by, you know, with what's his name, uh, John Cusack. Like, She's mm. just she's just been in so many things and she's such a consummate actress. Like in everything she's in, you know, it's whatever role she's in, she's gonna she it's gonna be good. So yeah. I love that she's that. I love her energy. I just I think they cast I, I think they cast everyone really well, which I want to get to casting, I will say this as a spoiler, is perfect. Yeah. It's for great this whole season. Right? It's yes. great. I, I, I again not having read the books but seeing that movie. Um so I think Justice Strauss was cast perfect. I love that character. I think she's so cool. You know, I feel really it's a very diverse cast too. Yeah. Uh, so the books were very like white. You can tell, like everybody was supposed to be white, but like mm-hmm. Mr. Poe, uh, I, I forget, isn't the it, it's like something K Manning or something like that? No. Um, Who the actor? Yeah, K K something. K is his first like initial. Um, K Todd. In, anyway, yeah, K, K Todd, Todd Freeman. Freeman. Yeah. There we go. Uh, like he plays Mr. Poe perfectly by the book, and uh, it, it's just perfect casting, like you said, throughout. Yeah, oh. I like. I what just. Is- I think they're. Um, you know, and, and as far as casting is concerned, I mean, the girl who they got to play Violet, her name is Melina Weissman. Yeah. I mean, could you get anyone to look more like Emily Emily Browning? Do, no, you could not. Do you know she what I'm spot on? Do like you know it. what I'm saying? And 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 I think Emily Browning was an amazing addition to the movie. Um, and then so the fact that they went with the same thing, like I, there's a lot of tie-ins here. You know what I mean? It's well, like they look a lot like their characters. Is what it is. Well, that's the thing too. Yeah, and and so the fact that they found Emily Browning for that for the for the movie, and then they got this. 
this girl for this is just and she, this girl's been in a bunch of things too she was recently mm. in that movie where um kevin spacey t- gets turned to a cat we saw i saw that with my kids in the theater uh she's been she's been in a bunch of things um she was in the turtles movie she plays young april o'neill um oh, yeah. so yeah yeah she's been and 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 the kid too the kid's been in a bunch of stuff too uh his name is lewis hines um yeah dude will arnett Fox. colby smolders are in it colby smolders in this as a mom and dad which i love that she's playing the mother after being in how i met your mother forever yeah yeah pretty funny right yeah, yeah. It's funny too that when they were locked up, when we saw that that you saw that little uh, couple, little um, that little scene with them, uh, with uh, the parents, and how she she ends up building her own grappling hook, just like the daughter did. Yeah. I thought that yeah, was yeah, yeah, yeah. They do the same thing, and they talk the same as like the kids and stuff. Like, yeah, I just I think that that's cool. You know what I mean? Um, and then uh, Sonny's played by Tara Strong, who is uh, a, a, another another amazing voice actress she's been in basically yeah. every single thing ever uh from video games to movies and she you know, she does batgirl i believe doesn't she does she? batgirl she does uh, barbara gordon yeah she does she does to- so much stuff um and, and just oh everyone else uh uh the one the hook hook handed man was hilarious yeah, Usman alley Usman, yeah so just g- freaking hilarious um the, all uh, of them the white-faced women <laughs> The, the, yeah um i oh, like yeah i like the the big dude with the dark hair they they call him the hench person of indeterminate gender <laughs> like it's just oh, yeah yeah it's just hilarious you know I remember correctly but yeah, he, yeah he's an Maddie. amazing character yeah and then um you know the, the big dude um the bald man you know and then the two twins like, oh it's yeah just... he's played in other stuff um his last name's desantis i can't remember if it's james or john 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 desantis yeah, yeah. john desantis yeah yeah so he played the big yeah, dude. He was in the Seventh Warrior or something like that. Seventh Son. The Seventh most Son. Oh, that newer. Yeah, that one. Yeah. yeah. He's in the Adams family. The new Adams family. He played Lurch. Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah um, he looks like he would play somebody. Just like great. That. Just great <laughs> casting. I mean, we just we just basically we went on and on about the cast, but um and and like you said, just a story- great scene. Too. yeah i just i um as far as like the scenes are concerned, like I loved one of my favorite favorite things scenes is when he's showing them the house like. That was amazing. That was just really, really, really fun. Right. Like, Here's your bedroom. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> when uh, he like just but then he, he shows them the rooms and then all of a sudden and then he tells them like, you know, uh, like with the shower, you know, he's like um, the uh, the shampoo uh, is not tear free. In fact, it, it, it may induce tears or something like yeah. that. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> it's just really good dialogue. And just as they're being shown the house and stuff. And you're right. It, this my, is the kitchen. I expect it to be spick and span. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Um, but he acts like it's a it's a, it's a it's a spotless house and it's it's yeah. a freaking Disgusting. death trap. That's the hilarity you know? yeah. to it. Um, yeah. the hook handed man. He has this one line that I I cracked up. I actually had to pause the show because of it. And he's like, "Get into your pajamas and say your prayers, unless you're atheist." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he said, yeah. It was and, a lot of that quick wit. It, it was, yeah. It definitely is when it cut when it you know with this show so far you know just in these first couple episodes you can see that it's written very well and like you guys have been saying the acting is is it's just is played spot really on. well yeah it's, it's just fun yeah I just you know I just feel bad for these poor kids I, I feel re- I do so I feel I really bad you know I feel like, really I hate, bad like you know, he hits the kid at one point I was yeah. like oh that's what got a little shit. real shit yeah I was yeah. like I my kids like, are there and I'm like um it's not that's <laughs> that's why like you said it was like it, it's comedic but i wouldn't just call it, it's very um a lot of coy adult humor in yeah there's like yeah. um i wouldn't just consider it comedy to a degree i mean would you call it a drama or anything but Somewhat. it's like a it's dramatic like a dry yeah, comedy because it's... you feel you know it made dramatic me feel the comedy comes kids, into the yeah. the comedy comes from the characters themselves yeah. not necessarily yeah. yes the dialogue but the situations and the way it, the way it's played, and and I think yeah. that's very and it's subtle, and I love comedy like that. I love the yeah. I love when that where that's where the comedy comes from, not from a laugh a minute. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. You know, I'm not looking for like, like that. That's a sitcom, you know. During the wedding scene or before the wedding scene, you have all this stuff like Justice Strauss freaking out and all that, and then you get this scene where Neil Patrick Harris is saying something to a reporter, and he's yeah. like something 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 streaming television and then he looks directly at the camera the, he's looking straight ahead yeah. and then he looks directly at the camera breaks fourth wall and it's just hilarious yeah mm. 
it was funny when he was first going into the bank when um, he was he rolled up in the car with uh, the rest of his his with theater the cronies, group. Yeah. And he's like, oh, yeah. about the costumes. And, um, you know, <laughs> when they were first making their initial, um, when he was going to make his first initial grab, yeah. grab of, yeah. And, and uh, how he, how he grabbed the clothes as a blind guy. That was great. You know, yeah. How he puts the whole hat, outfit together. Yeah. His, his glasses, the woman has the mannequin and he grabs the jacket off of the mannequin. And, yeah. uh, you know, how he walks in there and how he's able to trick, um, Poe into uh, you know his closest relative and all oh, the closest relative means to I, the, my know, house the is here closest yeah. to the yeah to the house or you know so it was um, it, it's just it's definitely quirky um, like I said um, I'm kind of you know like uh, I know you're digging it weird. you're digging it you're digging yeah. it you're digging the style and it's and you just you're not too sure about the story yet but yeah I mean. Yeah. I think it's I think it's going to, you know, I mean, obviously, Jesse knows, but, you know, I think it's going to get a little, you know, it's going to stay quirky and I think it's going to be fun, though. So this is again, this is part one and part two. Um, the thing is, it's always going to be quirky. Yeah. So look for I that. I like it. I like it yeah. a lot. I think the parents, that's like my big question that I left. with. Yeah. What's so up far. with that? What's going on? Who were they? What's up? Like, again, I didn't read these. I don't remember the movie. You there, know? there are subtle hints in the I was with the I? scenes. Yeah. And you'll notice them because everything he does is important to the story when he breaks away. Mm-hmm. So you get hints about who the parents are and you get watch pretty again, much man. everything. Yeah. Well, yeah. I didn't even have to watch the first few episodes to get who the parents were because I knew immediately who the parents were. Well, you also read that story, so. Dude, that's been like 10 years. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah. you have a memory like a steel trap, man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll admit, I do have a good memory about stuff like that, but I didn't remember exactly okay, who the parents right. were. So it was good for you, then. It was good. You were surprised. You, it, and I don't think the... they're even featured in the book, so... Really? Oh, okay. Yeah. That's interesting. Th- those scenes aren't featured in the book, if I recall correctly. Okay, so they're just adding some stuff. Oh, that's good, though, but that's good. I like yeah. that. All right, that's cool, A little though. bit of backstory. Um, yeah, so, I mean, anything else that we want to talk about? I mean, uh, I kind of told you what my favorite scenes were. Um, Jesse, what you got any fa- other favorite scenes, or...? Seriously, that get in your pajamas and say your prayers unless you're an atheist. Favorite scene. Yeah, love him. Yeah, favorite character so far. Who, who are your favorite characters? Okay, oh, man. Oh wait, no, Patrick Warburg, definitely. Yeah, Mikey. Any ideas yet? I mean, I think the kids are. I mean, I think the kids are obviously um, very interesting. You know, obviously it's based around. These, they're the these grounded ones. Like, they're the ones that actually. This is interesting. <laughs> they're the one that ground the whole story. And yeah. it's based, yeah, like it's, was, uh, they're the anchor beforehand. and the ground, yeah. And then it's every adult around them are, are out of their fucking minds. Yeah, it's very yep. much like a cartoon, like you said. I like yeah, it. It's, it's, it's weird, great. you know. It's so I like really to cool. I like to see, you know, redemption, hopefully. I don't think I will see it at all with the kids, but. I know um, you're looking at my camera to see if you get any hints. <laughs> yeah, right. No, um, I, I the one thing, though, I thought was, a, I thought the whole there was a scene with with Neil Patrick Harris when he was um, uh, pretty much admitted the fact that he wants to marry Violet, and he like kind of like touched her shoulder like a weird way. I thought it was kind of like weird, you know. There is but, yeah, there's a there is that they're they're like, like a, playing on this fine line, and I think she's and like I a think, little girl, and know? I think so that I, that's on purpose. Yeah, yeah. Obviously. and then the baby in the cage. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> of course CGI now. Oh, of course. But I mean, but that's the thing though. It's not It's, it's not overtly it's, done. It's it's really like this is like it's kind of serious. Like it's not a it it's not like a, a silly yeah. little thing. Yeah. But it's like a Although serious the baby beating him in poker kind of is a serious thing. <laughs> yeah. But you know yeah, what I'm saying? You see like, him you see him tied up cuz he keeps losing hands. And he just and lets and he lets her, yeah. It, you know, like he just lets it know? happen because she wins. But that's the whole point. I want to know how he caught the cards if he had his mouth taped up though. Well, no, his <laughs> mouth wasn't taped up yet. No, no, no. Remember he said next hand if you win or if you but win this hand. We saw him hand, catch the cards though. We saw him. She flips them and we saw him catch them. Yeah, but he's catching them in his mouth. And he said, then next hand, or if I lose this hand, then I'll put the tape on my mouth. Okay. Right. So. Well, that was the And last... also the scene with the typewriter with the hook. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm it's glad fun. to see, and, uh, Like I said, I said it a million times so far in this video, it's, it's definitely weird. Um, but um, I'm ex excited. Uh, yeah, but I'm, I'm definitely um, looking. I'm wondering what's going to happen with, with these guys yeah, and the stuff. I think it, it's a fun. It's fun. It's a fun show. It's definitely fun. Yeah. So yeah. I, I think it's cool. Um, I think I think we're gonna I think that'll do it, right? Well, yeah. I mean, anything else that that we kind of want to go over? I mean, I don't think so. I think. I, I think we've covered the series itself perfectly well. And if you're wanting any more backstory on it, or you want to get ahead of the series, definitely check out the books. Yeah. Because they may, are. I may end up going and reading that after watching this first season. I might go and read those. They uh, have just, pictures in them, even. So. Yeah. I'd end up getting an audio version. Yeah. I every book <laughs> I, I, I read. That's how that's how I read. I read. I do audio books because of my job. Um, but anyway, uh, so that's that's gonna do it for um uh, a bad beginning. A bad beginning or the bad beginning? The bad beginning. The bad beginning. Lemony Snicket, a series of unfortunate events on Netflix, part one and two. Um, so yeah, so we're gonna co we're gonna do the next set is gonna come up. We're gonna get that video out for you, uh, and, and the the rest of these episodes are gonna get. We're gonna talk about them and recap them for you uh, in the coming weeks. Um, but uh, on the way out here, why don't we talk about our new friends from Comic Blitz? I'm sure you've seen this on a couple of other videos, and so we'll just br very briefly tell you what Comic Blitz is. It's a it's a comic book subscription service. Um, you can go to comicblitz.com and you can access this on uh, iOS devices, on your laptop or your desktop. Um, Android app coming soon. It's in beta right now. Uh, comic Blitz, you can get yourselves um, any comic book uh, you know, or, or graphic novel, um, any one of your favorite ones from your favorite publishers, publishers like IDW, Top Cow, uh, Valiant, Dynamite. Um, and more and more, and they're adding more and more publishers. You can get yourself over 4,500 comics and graphic novels. Catch up on series, start a series, finish an arc. It, you can get all get up in there and, and just and just uh, get yourselves full of comics. Stuff like Transformers, GI Joe, uh, My Little Pony, James Bond, Star Trek, Star Trek, uh, you know, Ninjak, any of those guys. You know, any of these, uh, all, you know, those awesome comics. Um, and for their, they have a few tiers, and uh, for their unlimited tier, it's usually seven ninety nine a month, I believe. Yep. Uh, but yep. with this promo code, Third Person Pod, you can guys, you guys can get yourselves three months for just three dollars at one dollar per month. So for a dollar a month for your first three months, you're gonna, you can get unlimited comics. That deal yep. is amazing. It is. So if you, if you've been wanting to get into comics or get back into comics or you know, you wanted to read some of the stuff that you haven't, that you've heard about and you didn't get into from some of these publishers, now's your chance. So use the promo code third person pod, get in there, yep. get your comic on, uh, get the app, get it on your, on your computer or whatever. And, uh, yeah. So, uh, definitely check that out because it, it's, it's a, it's a really great deal. Okay. And then if you do let us know what comics you're reading, because we might want to read them too, if we're not already. So that's true. Uh, that's true. yeah. So that's that. All right, guys, that's it. Anything else? Ah, uh, that'll do it. I, I think, believe. Man. I think that's gonna do it. So, guys, we're gonna see you on the next edition of our Netflix series, Lemony Snicket: A Series of Unfortunate Events, for the next couple of episodes that we do. So, that's it, guys. I remember, this is a story that's not going to end well. Oh, so yeah, so it's Patrick. Warburton. Remember, he just consistently reminds you it's not yeah, gonna end. Yeah, reminding it. Turn away. Do not it. watch. Yeah. Yeah. God, it's so me. good. It's it so good. I, gotta, I might go watch these first two episodes again before I hit the next ones. No, maybe I'll watch the whole <laughs> series and then the season and then go back and watch them all over again that's what i plan yeah. on doing yeah i may i may watch um i might not just watch the next two and then might stop. go ahead and read the yeah watch the rest i oh, just yeah. might just yeah. go yeah so I oh we've been busy of... what do you expect yeah uh, all right guys well, that's gonna do it for us thank you so much we appreciate all your comments and support and uh please let us know what you think of the series what you think about what we said here and uh as always give us your opinions man we love we love we love continuing this conversation uh, so that's it, guys. Thank you so much. Don't forget, you can get it to us on all the social medias that you see at Third Person Pod. You are now, uh, our URL is now Third Person Pod on YouTube. So um, thank you, you guys, for hitting us over 100 subs so we can do that. And uh, don't forget those giveaways coming at the end of the month. Check out the other videos we're doing for The Walking Dead and all that stuff because that's coming up soon. And that's enough plugging stuff, and we're going to be done. And we will see you guys on the next episode. Thank you very much.